What up, Lincoln Nation? Here with your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. Oh man. Brilliant move by Rob Palenka. Brilliant move by Rob Palenka, but it didn't get past your boy. It didn't get past your boy. Um, I just want you guys to think and, and open your mind. Check this out. We're gonna have a little fun, right? Buddy Hills to the Lakers, right? I'm gonna tell y'all how that that hurt happened, and I'm gonna tell y'all what Rob Palenka did that went over a lot of you guys' head. Now, Rob Palenka had no idea that Max Lewis was going 40. He thought Max Lewis was a first-round pick. Clearly said he thought he was going the first round. We all thought. I didn't go thought, think he, I didn't think he was going to go past 26. And that's what everybody bored. They didn't he you didn't even see him in the second round at all. Let alone 10 slots deep into 40. So he didn't think that. So what Rob Plinka did, Rob Plinka Indiana had, you know, tough negotiation last year. Last year they tried to get rid of Russ. Indiana was giving the Lakers tough time. So what Rob did, he opened up the communication, right? So Buddy Hill he used to represent Buddy Hill for those who don't know. He was Buddy Hill agent. Um, the Lakers won't get rid of Malik Beasley. So what's going to happen is, which it probably in the works, they probably didn't want to do it because it could look too fishbowl-y, you know what I'm saying? So what Rob did, Rob and, and Janie Buss and them said, hey, we will give you 47 pick. We'll take your 40th pick, and on top of that, we're going to give you $4.3 million. $4.3 million is not a little bit of money considering um, what just happened. This, this look at this look at the, most of the trades. Most of the trades you see when teams trading back and forth, they is it like with Denver, oh, a future 2030 second-round pick. Um, they moved up for a 2030. These are in the first round, not even second round, for um, – a future draft pick that's 2030 2028 and things like that so what the lakers did they said hey we're gonna give you 4.3 million right now indiana is so happy because you have to think like this indiana already moved their pick to denver right so now last year this thing like this last year the lakers traded i mean the lakers gave up 3.7 million for the 35th pick. The 35th pick, five picks um, outside the first round. The 35th pick, the Lakers, and they drafted Max Christie. They gave up, um, the Lakers gave up $3.7 million. They gave up more for, 40, for the 40th pick, plus gave them the 47. Plus gave them the 47. So now what's going to happen is, to complete that trade, they're going to say, okay, Malik Beasley for Buddy Hill. Now, Malik Beasley and Buddy Hill, both the same height. Um, Buddy Hill is more of an aggressive score, more look to score, more of aggressive score. Malik Beasley, more athletic. Malik Beasley, younger. Um, but maybe he may fit, fit better, Buddy Hill. He constantly runs off the screens. I mean, he runs hard, like hit. He's hard, then he got more of a step back. His 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 release is super quick. Like someone to touch his hand is, is out of there. So maybe he may fit better with the Lakers. Um the Lakers ain't looking to be a player in the free agency. Um the Lakers have two exceptions. They have the twelve point five and uh four point five. Four point seven, I believe it went up. Yeah, four point seven. But what I'm hearing that the Lakers not gonna probably use both of them exceptions. So what they're probably going to do is they're going to trade Buddy Hill from Lee Beasley. And then with the the mid-level, they're going to get a big. I will reveal that later in another video, my next video. I will break down the Lakers' 15-man roster. But right now, it's going to be Buddy Hill from Lee Beasley. And I believe it would be straight up because they already gave them $4.3 million we gave them. And now they're going to save additional over $2 million. So now over $2 million extra, where they don't really value Buddy Hill like that. They've been trying to get rid of Buddy Hill for the longest. Um, there really been no takers on Buddy Hill. So 
yeah, that that that's just what it is, man. So I need you guys to really pay attention to that. It wouldn't surprise me um, that it may go down the next couple of days. Uh, Bomba situation, I believe the Lakers probably working out something with Bomba where um, they probably bring them, wave them, bring them back for like five men and, and save a little more money uh, to get low as possible on that luxury tax and probably help them be able to resign the three players they're trying to resign. They're trying to um, bring back DeAndre Russell, trying to bring back Rui Atramore, and they're trying to bring back um, Austin Reeves. So I think it helped them in that way, you know, bring Bomber back at a cheaper, cheaper rate. So um, tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.